thank you for being with us. We're keep going, and right now we are on modular stand. Uh, and here with me is Mr. Campanile, who is a general manager of uh, Chinese branch. Good thank morning. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice yeah. to meet you. First, um, I would like to ask you to briefly introduce what kind of products you have here. Yeah, Modula is a leading company in the world with basically making one kind of product, which is a vertical lift module, which is a kind of storage which is developed in, in the height, I mean. It's an automatic storage system to bring, to keep and safely and uh, to, give, to bring the goods to, cast to the operator instead of pushing the operator to pick up goods elsewhere. So yeah, so and the next question is, uh, to which countries are you exporting to? Yep, actually Modula China has been established uh, two years ago just to care about the domestic market. But actually, since uh, next year we will planning to also export to Southeast Asia, Australia and New Zealand. This kind of market nowadays, uh, they got the product from our headquarters in Italy but due to the fact that we are closer and our production capability is quite strong, we will start to deliver goods also to that area. Okay. And talking about overseas marketing as well, uh, like this uh, virus outbreak, which is like going till now, actually changed a lot of companies of marketing strategies. And what about yours? Yeah, actually, the outbreak uh, pushed us to change some, uh, let's say, habits. We try to reduce to buy as less as possible from foreign countries, like for instance Italy, to localize as much as possible uh, the components we buy because for the other, uh, for the production we are quite autonomous. Talking about market, since we just sell in China, we faced many difficulties due to the virus because we couldn't uh, even install the machine because many companies didn't allow us to install. But nowadays, with the market is uh, getting better, and uh, so actually, we, the marketing strategy was to instead of having direct contact with potential customer, we we had some webinar, we had some mass email to reach customer without touching them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we developed this uh, since March with some webinar. They would be very interesting because they told us that we can reach customer even without being there. So in any case, we learned something good. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, yeah, talking about like um, another like exporting plants. So do you maybe you did research or do you think, think that there is a, a differences between needs of domestic clients and overseas clients? Like, do you think that there is a difference of needs Chinese and overseas clients? Yeah, definitely yes. Actually, uh, the market are different. The Chinese market have, have has different needs, and we try our best to accomplish these needs. Basically. Main, most of our customers nowadays are multinational companies and they buy our product to optimize their stock, their stock management. Now we are pushing on the domestic market and we do hope to do, make our product more suitable for the domestic needs, which are more price sensitive, of course, but not only, also uh, the domestic market when they decide to buy our product they also want the best quality and the, the top configuration. Now the configuration must be always the, the best one because, you know, automation is a very strong market nowadays with a big support from the government and the integration of our system with other, uh, with other logistics equipment is, uh, is a must. And of course the software is a key point because it must be integrated totally with the the, the the ERP of the customer. And where the software is developing in China or in Italy? The software is developed in Italy. In Italy. In Italy. Okay. So and uh, if we're talking about like export, like planning of export in the future, so do you uh, have some additional like service to uh, to provide to your overseas clients? Yeah, of course, we are fully equipped to provide services to uh, the domestic market. 
because first of all, we care about the installation on customer side by ourselves. And then we care about all the maintenance and the repair. Nowadays, it's an issue to go abroad because first of all, our technician, our engineer are Chinese. And you know, to go abroad, they need a visa. So it's not that easy. For instance, we have a customer, a Chinese one, who bought one machine for his branch in Malaysia. And it's already several months that we cannot install because it's difficult to get there. Of course, we are available to go there, to go abroad, but nowadays it's quite difficult. Because of the virus by one side, so the lockdown of some countries, and also because to go abroad you need a visa. So it would be better for the Asian countries to get traveling more easier, even for Chinese people. So thank you so much. Thank you for such My a good pleasure. introduction. Thank you for you having the time with talking to us. And it was Mr. Campanaglio from the Madula. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.